it's about time that we made a video about protein sources and meals for vegans. Now there is so much I want to share with you on this topic that I went ahead and split this video up into two different parts. In the one that you're watching right now, which is part one, I want us to explore what some plant-based protein sources are. I want to share with you a tip I think everyone needs to know when it comes to how to increase the absorption of protein from certain foods, and then we're going to delve into some high protein meal prep. In the next video, we're going to share some high protein meal ideas using some of the ingredients that we're going to meal prep in this video. All right, let's get started. We've already created an article on the blog all about protein for vegans. It's super comprehensive, but a really simple read. So we'll leave a link for you in the description box below. On the website, you can also find a downloadable PDF that lists the high plant-based protein sources. So be sure to grab that as well if you're interested. Now let's recap some of the high protein sources we're gonna be using in these videos. And first up are the members of the soy family. This includes tofu, tempeh, and edamame. Now, if you're interested in learning more about soy because we realize it's a bit of a hot topic, We've written about that on the blog as well, so again, link is down below. Next up, we've got beans and lentils. We'll be using chickpeas, brown lentils, and red lentils. And then we're gonna move on to seeds, which include pumpkin and sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, and tahini, which is just sesame seed butter. And then we've got some quinoa and soba noodles, which is made from buckwheat. And fun fact here, both quinoa and buckwheat are actually seeds, even though we tend to classify them as grains. Finally, we've got any and all kinds of nuts, and we'll be using pecans and pine nuts. So these are just a few of the high protein items for vegans, but I've got another tip that can help you boost your protein absorption even more. So now we know protein is high in legumes, nuts, seeds, and certain grains, right? But here's the thing, protein from many of these plant-based sources are bound to inhibitors, which essentially means we're not absorbing them as well as we could. So how do we improve this? By soaking, whenever possible. So of course we soak our beans overnight before we cook them, but often people don't soak their lentils or quinoa, oats or rice, because these ones tend to cook quite quickly anyway. But if you want to increase the absorption of protein even more, in addition to other minerals, it's highly recommended that you soak these ingredients for at least two hours, if not overnight, before preparing them. Now, I don't always do this with my nuts and seeds because personally I like it when they're a little bit crunchy, but I definitely always do it with any grains or lentils that I'm cooking. So if you want to geek out and learn a little bit more, again, we've got an article all about it on the Pickup Lens blog, you know the drill. Link for that is in the description box. Okay, now let's get into some meal prep. The exact measurements for all the recipes I'm going to be sharing in these videos can be found on the Pickup Limes website, so see the links below. And remember that you can get a printable PDF of each recipe by visiting the blog post as well. Each week, I like to batch cook some beans, lentils, and quinoa. I usually use the chickpeas to then make hummus, so here we go with recipe number one. We add our chickpeas to a food processor, add some pre-soaked sunflower seeds to increase the protein a bit more. We're gonna add some garlic, tahini, water, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, some soy sauce, which I like to use in place of salt because I think it gives more depth of flavor, some hot sauce, ground cumin, and paprika powder. Then we add the juice of a lemon and blend it up until it's creamy. Add it to a Tupperware container and sprinkle on some more paprika if you'd like. Hummus is a staple at the Pickup Limes headquarters. We eat it pretty much every single day, either in a sandwich, in a wrap, on crackers, or as a veggie dip. Next up, let's make some baked barbecue tempeh. Now, tempeh scared me a lot at first until I learned how to work with it, so let's explore that here. First, we just slice the tempeh into thin strips. And here's an essential step I think a lot of people miss. You wanna steam the tempeh for about 10 minutes, which helps it to soften, removes bitterness, and helps it soak up more of the marinade. Then drain, rinse, and pat dry. Then we're gonna use some barbecue sauce to generously coat each of the strips before placing it in a container. We wanna allow this to marinate overnight because the tempeh is gonna soak up most of that sauce. The next day, we'll distribute them on a baking sheet and bake it in the oven for 15 minutes, flip it over, and you can add some more sauce at this stage if you'd like. Then bake again for another 10 minutes. When it's done and cooled, you can place the strips into a container to enjoy throughout the week, on salads, with rice, or with noodle bowls like this one here, which we'll be sharing with you in the next video. Moving on, the next meal prep item are these candied coconut and cinnamon pecans. To a bowl, we'll add some coconut oil, maple syrup, shredded coconut, and cinnamon, and then mix it all together before adding the pecans. As you can see, the prep time for this is no more than five minutes. Once it's coated, we're gonna distribute it onto a baking sheet and bake it for 10 
10 minutes, stirring once halfway. And when it's cooled, you can distribute them into jars or containers to enjoy as snacks throughout the week. They taste like little caramel bites. I don't know, I've been obsessed with them lately. For the final item, we're gonna make this vegan tofu chorizo. So we first dice an onion, mince some garlic, and coarsely chop some mushrooms. To a large pot or pan on high heat, we'll add some oil, the onions and garlic, and some salt and pepper, sauteing for about three to five minutes. Then we'll add the mushrooms, cooking for another seven minutes or so until the moisture evaporates. Reduce the heat to medium high, and then we'll add two blocks of tofu, crumbling it with our hands. We're gonna cook this for anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes until the tofu crisps and browns to your liking. Be sure to continuously stir and scrape the bottom to avoid burning. Then we're gonna add the spices, oregano, paprika powder, chili powder, ground coriander, cumin, and some cinnamon. Then mix it together, allowing it to cook for another couple of minutes so the spices become fragrant. And then at the end, we can add the apple cider vinegar as well as some soy sauce. Mix it all together and that's it. Add it to a container to enjoy throughout the week. For example, we made these nourishing taco salad bowls using this chorizo, or you could also use it as a meat replacement for your burritos or tacos, or you could add it to your pasta sauce to make a pasta bolognese. This particular recipe we'll be sharing with you in the next video, so stay tuned. Now the last meal prep tip I have for you to boost the protein of any meal is to roast any nuts or seeds that you enjoy that you can add as garnish to any of the meals or salads or soups that you're creating because really any little bit of protein is gonna add to your intake. So this week I roasted some sesame seeds and some pine nuts and in the next video you're gonna see me using some of those in the meals that we'll be creating together. So that's everything that we've meal prepped for this week, all of which are or include high protein plant-based ingredients. Now I've already given you some examples in this video on how I use these certain ingredients, but let's explore that a little bit more, which we're gonna do together by preparing some high protein meals in the next video, bento box style. So click right here to watch that. But before you do that, head on over to the description box. Make sure that you grab your downloadable PDF of high protein vegan sources. Thanks a lot for meal prepping with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.